y'all, it's me, Daria, and we're here for week two of the Twitch Battle League. This week we have our matchup against Manbird and the Fort Wayne Combuskins with a K. I know that that K is important. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, Manbird had an extremely terrifying victory last week. A uh, pretty sure a 6-0 victory on the back of Dragon Dance Zygarde, so I'm actually terrified uh, today. I think we brought some good stuff, but you know, I just, you can't account for everything, you know? And I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Um, I don't know. I brought some fun stuff though. Uh, I mean, fun as in like fun to me. Uh, <laughs> also we went on timer last week. So my goal is to like, not let it go to timer this time. Like, that's my hope. Um, but we'll we'll see what happens. Um, hold on, I just remembered I need to post this. There we go. Okay. Um, I need to set my team, which is this team. This is my team. I have no idea if they're ready or not. Um, but yeah, I like I, I it's choice scarf Zapdos, which is pretty standard. Choice band Seismitoad, which I'm hoping will catch him off guard because like most people like to run Seismitoad special, I feel like. Uh, we're gonna try and physical and try to catch him off guard. We have a nice parish trap polytoad. Uh Bronzong is just playing the role of a uh, sleepy pivot who can set up rocks and be annoying with future sight. Uh, we have a super bulky Assault Vest Ludicolo that I think is going to do a surprising amount of work. And uh, we have a Iron Defense uh, Tapu Fini as our defogger. The Iron Defense Tapu Fini can wall the Zygarde. So here's hoping, you know, here's hoping. <clears throat> okay, he has, whoops. He has Crobat, Verizian, Heatran, Dusk Noir. Okay. Alakazam. Okay, so he's probably going heavy duty boots, uh, Crobat as his defogger, which means I can punish with Zapdos. Um So that's good. Uh Let's see. I was expecting more, Rapid Spin more Peko, to be honest. Wasn't expecting to see Crobat this week. I'm assuming it's Heavy Duty Boots Defogger and not Nasty Bat or like something weird like that. Um, how does he punish me? He punishes... Okay, I'm just going to lead with Zapdos. Because Zapdos is Scarf, it should outspeed everything on the team, and I can just click U-turn. Hopefully. Okay, they lead with Heatran, which... I definitely kill in one hit. <laughs> um... With close combat. Uh, like, what do they switch into it with? Um, the ghost. They certainly switch in with the ghost. Uh, I think we're just gonna U turn here. Just play it safe and just U turn. Yep. Okay, yeah. I'm, they're making that read in place of like a close combat, you know? Okay, so who do I go into now to pressure this Dusk Noir? I mean, we outspeed Dusk Noir, but I don't think we, we're gonna kill it. Um, what about... We could just go right into Ribbit here and try and trap this thing. Or actually, yeah, let's go into Ribbit. <laughs> Okay. 
This thing could have Thunder Punch. And it is... Even if it has Thunder Punch, though, I don't think it's killing us. It is Leftovers. Okay, so I'm gonna try and ca catch something here with Whirlpool. That's fine. I Paris Trap this thing. He got rid of my weather, but I can honestly like do a good job stalling this thing out here. I mean, even if they click uh, like Thunder Punch right now. I mean, we we're, we eat it. We outspeed, so I know I can go back to sleep. We can protect and we can rest. So, Will O Wisp is fine. I don't care about Will O Wisp. <laughs> I really just don't care about Will O Wisp. <laughs> like, this thing is going down here by the hand of a Politoed Paris Trap. And we can play fast. I don't need to think too hard about what we're doing here. We're stalling out the sun and we're stalling out the parish songs. Parish song drops to two. This is where we rest. I'm not sure if the hex boost pops on sleep. I don't think it does. I think it only works on paralysis, poison, toxic, and burn. Either way, we're especially bulky, so we're eating this. Okay, and now we switch out. We'll switch out to Cheese and Quack. Well, they're probably gonna burn here, right? They probably try to Will-O-Wisp. I would imagine they try to Will-O-Wisp, try to catch me on the switch. So we're gonna go into Finny Vidi Vici here. Who can't get burned because of Misty Surge. Can he not get trapped for some reason? Does it, does does Whirlpool not work on Dust Noir? Am I missing something? The does does Whirlpool not work on Dust Noir? Because if it doesn't, I just learned a new thing. Because I didn't know that. I could just go this thing right now. I could go this thing right now. Um, we're eating pretty much, I mean, even a stone edge, I think we eat okay. So yeah, I think that's what we do. Although they could set up a sub. We're gonna go into this thing right, right now. We eat that. Not as well as we'd like to, but we still eat it. <laughs> We're minus one defense. I mean, Brave Bird's gonna do a lot here. Um, they're minus one defense. We kill with close combat for sure. I don't think they go back into Dusk Noir here, but they might. They could. They could go into Dusk Noir here. 
Uh, we're taking lots of recoil from this, 32.6, but I think we'll be okay. I think we, I think we just click Brave Bird. Okay, cool. I think this gets rid of the Dusk Noir. At the very least, it's a two hit kill. He lives on one. We're just gonna click Brave Bird again. Do damage. I could see a heat tran switch here, but like we'll take chip on the heat tran, that's fine. We have a good switch in for that with our uh, Ludicolo. We could also go into the toad right now, Ribbit. Who I think is actually a safer switch here. Get our rain set back up. Is it power herb? It is power herb. I think we still eat this. I think we still eat this. We're gonna find out right now. Mmm, we ate that so well. We didn't just eat that, we handedly consumed it. We handedly consumed it. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Um, we just stay out. It, well, I don't want to stay out here. Uh, we could just go into Cheese and Quackers now. Cheese and Quackers, I think, is safe. Oh, also, Rain is up. Like, what is Heatran going to do to, to um, Seismitoad? This, this could be my chance to go into Seismitoad. Because your, your, your power herb is gone. Your power herb is gone. I go into bubbles here and I just starting to kill something. <laughs> All right, let's just liquidate. We could drain punch, but I don't think drain punch is gonna kill. I forgot that we changed Drain Punch last second. Drain Punch isn't gonna kill, we're just gonna click Liquidation. Rain Boosted Liquidation is gonna hit anything that comes in hard. So we sacks this thing. All right, well I don't get six out. Already feeling better about my chances. He doesn't know what my item is. So who are you going into here? For Marina. Um, we have no damage on this thing right now either. But this thing gets energy ball, so like I think, I think we have to go hard into cheese and quackers. This could also, yeah, we'll go hard into cheese and quackers. And we eat this. We are bulky duck. Rain dish, assault vest. Let's knock off here. They're gonna set up. 
Which is a little scary. Mm, it's a little scary. How do we want to handle this? There are plus one spadef. And we are ludicolo right now. Let's go ahead and Giga Drain. How fast is my Seismitoad? My Seismitoad outspeeds, and we are in kill range now. We are in kill range now. I think, do we keep Giga Draining, or do we try to go ahead and make the switch into Seismitoad? <sighs> like, switching all this thing is boosting is kind of scary. What if you're timid? If, like, you don't outspeed my timid frog. No. No, my frog always outspeeds. My frog always outspeeds. I think I need to keep Giga Draining. Oh, it's Draining Kess. Hmm. That is annoying. That is really annoying. Um, should I switch into you? Should I switch into you? I kind of think I should. I'll take Rocky Helmet Chip. I can get off of Future Sight, and then I can try to pivot into my frog. Oh, uh, this is a dangerous situation here. We're gonna try this. This shouldn't do much, doesn't. And they take Rocky Helmet Chip. That's gonna hurt, it might even kill. Okay, it does kill. But that's fine, because now Prim is in range for Seismito to come in and just click Earthquake. I haven't been keeping track of the things as well as I probably should have. This should kill. This should definitely kill. So I'm just clicking it. I have to. Into who? Into the bird? Into the bird. Okay. So there's the bat. My Bronzong is gone, which is my hard Crobat um, counter. So we lost our hard crowbat counter, which is fucking terrifying. Um, I probably shouldn't have let I shouldn't have let Bronzong go down. I should not have let Bronzong go down. I mean, we can kill this bat, but like, we're gonna have to do some maneuvering, and it's gonna be really tough. It's gonna be really really tough. How much damage do you take from a brave bird? 50% and then I lose my rain. But like, what else do I do right now, you know? I don't really have any other options. I think I gotta go. I couldn't even get my stealth rocks up, so now I can't even punish a defog. Alright, we just barely live. We get our rain up. Um. Shit, man. What do I even do here? What do I even do here? This thing applies so much pressure. I think I gotta go Finny Vidi Vici. Yeah, I think I gotta go Finny Vidi Vici. Rain is up. Hydro Pump does a lot. They're probably just gonna... Are you gonna reveal Brave Bird or are you gonna keep spamming? 
Giga Drain. All right, so there's Giga Drain. It's not doing much. And we can just click Hydro Pump right now. I'm tempted to, well, we can defog and get rid of hazards. We can defog and get rid of hazards, which I think will be, we need to do that so we can, we need to do that so we can, um, words, what are they? Why are they so difficult? And now Hydro Pump should hit, right? Into who? Alright, well it's a rain boosted Hydro Pump. And we missed. And we missed. This we're in danger in front of this thing, that's for damn sure. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's really gonna hurt. We lived though. I don't know. I don't fucking know how, but we did. Do I do I give this up? God, I'm in a really tough spot right now. I think I gotta give this up. Fingers crossed he does something stupid and switches out or something. Okay. Is he Choice Scarf? I don't know if he's Choice Scarf or not. I mean, U-turn kills. But if he's Choice Scarf, like, we're in a bad, bad spot. It is Choice Scarf, okay. I mean, this is all I can do. The battle's over. It's going to time. It, like, it could go to timer. It's probably gonna go to timer. All the animations and shit. But, like, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's over. I lost. Yeah, I wasn't, I mean, I didn't play well. I didn't stick to my win, I didn't preserve my win cons. I didn't preserve my win cons. Yeah, I shouldn't have let Bronze on go down like I did. That was really stupid. Um, I don't know. It's just like with timer, I just like I feel like I don't have enough time to think out my win cons. It's definitely gonna take some. It, there's gonna be a learning curve. I just like there's not enough time to play out my win cons. But good game to uh, Man Bird. Um, I mean, the Scar of Alakazam just made sense. I'm still confused about the Dusk Noir interaction. I feel like... Can it not be Whirlpool Trapped? I don't know. I have no idea. Either way, I'll catch y'all next week. Uh, have a good one.